guys, it's me, Smell McGee, and happy Sunday! That feels really weird to say because I'm recording this on Thursday. I decided to just make this video early because on Saturday I get my second IVAG. A little nervous for it, but now I kind of know what to expect. And if it's anything like last time, the day after IVAG, which will be Sunday, is the day I feel the worst and I'm basically either super nauseous and don't want to move or asleep in almost a comatose-like state. So definitely not in the shape to make a video. So I thought I'd record and edit it like today and tomorrow and then just use the schedule to post things. It'll post on Sunday. So we'll see how that turns out. But anyway, this is week three of Come Follow Me Spiritual Sunday Quarantine Edition. And it's weird that this is the start of week three. Like, this is our life now, guys. We are living in a really weird apocalyptic time in history. And I've wondered what the movies about this are going to look like. <laughs> Am I the only one who's thought about that? Uh, anyway, let's get into this week's lesson because it was really cool. So this week, the parts that really stuck out to me. So it talks a lot about Enos. Enos. I can never say his name right. Enos. It talks about Enos and he's like going into like the woods to hunt beast and he finds himself just falling to his knees and praying to God. And this is such a sincere prayer. He's like praying for remissions of his sins, praying for his friends, family, and loved ones, praying for his enemies. And the thing I found really cool is that he is praying that his will can align with gods and I think this whole like Enos's whole prayer can just teach us so much about prayer in general like to me prayer is so much more than just like a laundry list even though we always find ourselves doing it you know the prayer is like good day good day father just let's have a good day then you're like falling asleep but prayer is so much more than that. My niece, my little niece is at the age they both die. They're three and four where they're learning how to pray by themselves. And the four-year-old asked me what prayer is. And I told her that it's basically a Heavenly Father's version of the cell phone. And how cool is that, that we have like a direct line to God, that we can talk to him whenever we want about anything we want, our gratitudes, our struggles, everything. But I think the coolest like part of Enos's prayer is praying for your enemies for one, because I'm really bad at that. And then number two, aligning his will to God's. Because like I was just thinking a lot about that, because right now I think the world is praying a lot more than it has before. We haven't faced this kind of turmoil for a really long time. I can't think, I've never been alive where there's something worldwide that's like affecting everyone in the world at once. The last time I could think when the world was kind of so united from a bad thing was during 9-11. And I think now and during 9-11 more people are reaching out to God, more people are reaching trying to find purpose, and a lot more people are praying. They're praying basically for the world to heal, and I know these prayers. I myself have been praying for the world to heal during these times, and there's been a lot of times in my life, you guys would know of, where I have prayed for like a miraculous healing for my sick, broken body. And those prayers don't always turn out like you expect. And when your prayers aren't answered like you like you expect them to be, it's so easy to get mad at God. So easy, because you're like, okay, you're the only one who can fix this, but this is not what I had in mind. And it's so easy to turn away from him and be angry. But the thing is, like, when we align our will with God's and get to know his, we know his will is right. There's this really cool scripture about that in the lesson this week. Let me hurry and find it. The scripture was Words of Mormon 1-7. And it says, I do this for a wise purpose. For thus it whispereth to me according to the workings of the Spirit of the Lord, which is in me. And now I do not know that, and now I do not know all things. But the Lord knoweth all things which are to come, wherefore he worketh in me to do according to his will. I thought that was so fitting right now, because like when our prayers aren't answered like we're supposed to, we wonder if God is even there. We wonder about his will. We wonder about his love. But he is such a 
big picture person. Oh, God is a big picture person. He can see eternities. He can see everything. And all we have is this moment. But if we work to get to know him, we'll get to trust him and know that he does have this big picture. So I I have a little challenge for you guys this week. I challenge you to pray. Whether it's the first time you've prayed like ever or the first time you've prayed in a really long time or if you've said the millionth prayer like of the day today, this week just make sure you say a specific prayer and get to know your Heavenly Father better. I promise you you won't regret it. I am so grateful for prayer in my life. I I pray all the time. I am one who can get mad at God very easily, which is really awful of me. But I believe that, like, Al Caraway said something I really love. She's like, the times you don't feel like praying and you want to just scream at God, those are the times you need to pray. And if you need to scream at God during your prayer, scream at him. He wants to know your anger. He wants to get to know you. The most important thing is that you are talking to him. And I... That kind of changed my life. So prayer is essential, especially during times like this. Uh, trust God. Pray often. Even though times are scary, trust in his will and that we are promised a good things to come. I don't know when they will be, but since we are promised that, good things will come. And um, I say these things humbly and gratefully in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, there's this week's Spiritual Sunday blog. Uh, comment something below that you've learned during this quarantine. Uh, the more comments and stuff posts get, the more often you'll see my content on your page. And if you like this or any of my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Again, this is IVIG of February week, so I don't really know what it's going to look like, and I don't really know what I'm going to talk to you guys next. But this has been a really fun way to actually do my go follow me. And I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful for you all. Have a fantastic Sunday and always smile on.